Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, I mean, it's pretty obvious at this point, I'm a little bit obsessed with TikTok. I freaking love that platform. I wish I was more into making videos than I am into scrolling, but I just seem to spend hours doing this. I'm sure a lot of you do the same. And I'm sure if you have been on TikTok, if you're like me, if you spend hours endlessly scrolling, you will have seen a lot of the videos where they're Amazon must buys or things I own that you need or just general things that pop up a lot on TikTok that I just really felt like I needed in my life. So I have a few more products to test with you today that I am very, very excited about. So we're just gonna jump straight into it. So the first product I feel like I didn't need, but I really needed it, if that makes any sense. And that is a whole giant pack of scrunchies. These are featured on a little Amazon buys that you need video. And I really didn't think I needed scrunchies, but I realized I own only a few and I use them so often. And then I leave them places around the house and I don't see them for weeks. And then I find them and I'm like, oh, my scrunchie. So I figured I would get a pack. Now, this was the pack that had the most pastel colors. Um, and as you guys know, I love my pastel colors. So I figured this was the pack for me. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy with my purchase. <gasps> They're so soft. Oh my goodness. How pretty is this little blue color? <gasps> and this blue color. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my new scrunchie collection. There are so many cute colors. Got pastel colors, got rich colors, got neon colors, got autumnal kind of colors. We've got the whole shebang. I am so, so excited. And I'm very happy with my purchase. Thanks TikTok, yes. So this product I have seen countless times on TikTok, countless times. It is a little set of a jade roller and a gua sha, I think that's how you say it, I don't know. But there are just people on TikTok doing their little skincare routines and then just rolling their face in places with these little things and it looks kind of satisfying, kind of calming and apparently is very, very good for you. So I went ahead and Noble Duck have supplied me and by supplied me, I mean I paid for and already the packaging is just everything. Inside there's a little how to use Cute, so you can use the roller on your forehead, your glabella. Oh, so it says the gua sha for shoulders, back and legs, but I've definitely seen people using it on their face. So I will have to look into that, but you get a little dinky pad. I don't really know what that's for, maybe to dry it or rest it on. And then, oh boy, it's so pretty. So it says on there, Noble Duck Jade Roller, but I'm pretty sure Jade is green and this is a natural rose quartz. Either way, it's a face roller. This is what it looks like. It looks so perfect. It has rose gold detailing, a little wooden centerpiece, and then ooh, these little rose quartz roll and you can just, oh wow, that feels really nice. Let's refer to my instruction manual. Forehead from bottom up. So we're doing this. Lovely. I'm hoping it's not taking off any of my makeup. It doesn't seem to be taking off any makeup, so we can only hope for the best. And then it says your glabella. So apparently, apparently this is my glabella. I need a little bit on the chin. And then the little one you can use on your nasolabial folds, which is apparently here. So we're just gonna, oh yeah. But obviously you can use this with your skincare to massage it into your face and like doing the certain motions that they're showing you to do is meant to be good for your skin as well. So that's the roller, but then we also have in here, if I can get it out, under here. <gasps> we have my little gua sha. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited by this. It's like an actual little piece of polished stone. It feels weirdly delicate, but strong at the same time. So in the instructions, as I said, it says shoulders, back and legs, but I have seen people on TikTok using this little cutout bit and going along their jaw and kind of like scraping it with like creams or oils and like really massaging that area. And apparently it does good things. I obviously need to look into it a little bit more, but I'm really excited to start using this. Is there any change in definition of my jawline? Am I using it right or completely wrong? So if any of you have any tips or tricks for using these, please let me know in the comments because I cannot wait for this evening 
to start my new skincare. So the next product is not in its packaging because this one I decided weeks ago I should probably start using because it takes weeks to use. So this is basically a little avocado tree growing device um, and I've seen a ton of people on TikTok growing avocado trees. I don't know what rabbit hole my For You page went down, but I seem to see a lot of grow your own lemon tree, pineapple tree, mango tree, and one of them is an avocado tree. And I have wanted to grow one of these since I was little. So once I saw this on my For You page, I was like, do you know what? It's destiny, I need to grow one. So I used some of the tips and tricks from people on TikTok, and then I plopped my little avocado pit into this device, which I will show on the screen for you. Um, and it's growing. My avocado tree is growing. I will show you. My avocado has a new home. And look at Dia. He's growing. Look at his little shoot. Oh my goodness. Let's grow an avocado plant. He's got a nice big crack. So maybe we'll see a shoot coming soon. Look at this. Look at him grow. Look at my avocado tree. I'm so proud of myself. He's just having a little float in his water bowl. But look how big he's got. He's got leaves and everything. I'm so ridiculously happy with myself. It is time to put him into soil, but we need to go and buy some soil. And then we're gonna plant him and then just watch him grow. So the Avocido thing actually comes with its own instructions, which I followed first time round. And I'm not gonna lie to you, avocado just kind of died it didn't really work i was devastated um it just went brown and not great so then i went back to my saved avocado tiktok videos and what they say to do is put the avocado pit in some wet kitchen roll put it into a little sandwich bag and leave it for a little while and just check up on it every now and again until it basically has um a root starting to come through and at that point put it into the little avocado grower or you can use cocktail sticks and shove it into the pit. But I just don't trust myself to stab an avocado. So once mine had a little root, I just put it into the little avocado and it's been in there since. I've changed the water a few times, but it's just growing into a tree. This is a very ominous looking box. I think ominous is the right word. I have pre-opened this box to see what on earth was going on. And it is this. This is giant and way, way bigger than I thought it would be in my head. I feel like I need to explain to you what it is first because it comes with no anything. There's no booklet, there's no name, there's no anything with this product. But this basically sticks on your wall in your shower and then you can rest your foot on it while you shave your legs. Genius! What I will say is our shower has a very weird tiling that this probably won't stick to because it's all lumpy and bumpy but there are some tiles alongside the bath that I'm gonna stick this to, and we will see how shaving my leg goes. So it looks like this. I don't know what this is. I don't really know what this is. Oh gosh, that's a bit scary. Oh, oh, okay, there we go. So it's in place now. Okay. Gee Louise. <laughs> We're gonna go test this. Welcome to our bathroom. Welcome to the bath, where we have a lovely shower head and tiles only part way up the wall and no shower curtain. Really works, works great for us. So it is time to test this. So this basically sticks onto tile. Now obviously I'm in a bath, I can use the side of the bath, but our shower has weird tiles that this definitely wouldn't stick to. So I'm gonna try it on this tile wall and see if it can hold the weight of my foot. So let's wet it. So I'm going to stick it to the wall and then pull this to suction it. So, put it there, pull to suction. Ow! Ah! Poo brain up really hard! And it's not stuck. Unless I ping this down, draw the water on there. Mm. Oh! Okay, the suction has worked this time feels a little bit stable. I'm gonna stand up, we're gonna rest my foot. I'm bent down for too long. I'm getting old. Oh! I fell off before I even had a chance to put my foot on it. Stick you on. Pull this up. Okay. Go. I don't think it works. 
It does not want to work on these specific tiles. They are more of a matte uh, finish with a little bit of texture. So I'm gonna try it on the side of the bath and we'll see if that works. So stick you here, clip you into place. We're working, we're working, we're working. Rest my... We're gonna come to the conclusion that this doesn't work in my bathroom. Um, let me know if you own one of these and if you have the correct tiles to allow this to work. It seems like a great concept. I would have loved to use it, but it doesn't work. So it's a thumbs down for my tiling and my bath. I'm sure some of you have great tiles that this would work on. Another random little beauty product type thing. This is for your scalp. Oh, it's got loads of like little white specks of paint, <sighs> maybe? So this is from a brand called Mac Soft and it's got silicon spikes on it and you basically hold it and do this on your scalp. Scalp's such a horrible word. That feels really lovely. So it hasn't come with any instructions or anything other than it. But from what I remember, doing this to your scalp can like promote healthy hair growth and can reduce dry skin and dandruff and stuff like that. So I'm very happy to start using this in the shower to massage in my shampoo, etc, etc. This I'm so excited about. This is a little window cleaner. I know, I'm excited about a window cleaner, but it's a magnetic window cleaner. So if you're not on the ground floor of a building and you need to wash the outside of a window, you stick one on the inside of the window and magnetize to the other side and then you can wash the window. Genius, genius. I'm so excited to try this. Wow, it's really heavy. I just feel like I need to tell you that. I don't know what this is. <laughs> it's so heavy. So I'm guessing these pull apart movie or they slide apart wow that is some strong magnets i like i actually felt the shock in my teeth like that was so strong and i so thought my finger was stuck in there that that was some real panic going on just then so you can tie one of them to your wrist the one that's on the outer window in case it does fall off and then you're kind of holding it still and then you just basically stick one on either side of the window for filming purposes i'm gonna go downstairs and we're gonna test this on the patio doors okay so i've come downstairs to use the patio door just because i have full access to both sides so if anything does break or drop or anything we're okay my feet are on solid ground i have access to both sides of the window this seems like double glazing to me i'm gonna assume it is so we've got our product now one thing i'm absolutely terrified about is pulling this thing apart putting it on either side of the window and it smashing together. I'm so nervous. So I'm gonna read the instructions. Measure the thickness of glass. Okay, they're dipped in water. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna put them either side of the window like this. I think I'm gonna put them on the window and slide them together so that it doesn't smash through the window, if that makes sense. I'm so scared. Okay, they have joined together. Oh gosh. So now, and that's why you should tie it to yourself. Okay, so you would assume that this is attached to me, so I'm just gonna hold on to it. This is the bit that I can hold, and I can move it, but I think the window is slightly too thick. <gasps> my goodness, almost just caught my hand in that. And cannot now get them apart oh my gosh okay i physically cannot separate these what i was gonna say is the inside one was flush to the window because i was pushing it the outside one was slightly off the window so it wasn't fully washing the window um so i think the glass is slightly too thick these will now not come apart um i saw this in someone's kitchen on tiktok and it's just so exciting to me it's basically the same type of cereal dispenser that you get when you stay at a hotel and you go down for breakfast in the morning for buffet breakfast and you see the cereal and you don't really want cereal, you want the eggs and the, and the waffles and the bagels and the pancakes, but instead you go and get the cereal just so that you can turn this little dial 
because it's so fun. And I'm just really excited to open it and put cereal in it and have a go at it because I am a four-year-old child. Okay. Okay, we have one dispenser, two dispensers. Oh gosh, and then this thing. Oh no, that goes with the other dispenser. Okay, I will assemble over here. Okay, I feel like I could put this together without instructions, but also these instructions don't make much sense. Oh no, it'll go this way up. Okay, I don't understand. You are not big enough. What are you talking about? Ha ha ha, we're in. Put you in there. <laughs> this is so exciting. I'm really excited about this. It's like we're on holiday. I am the very proud owner of a cereal dispenser that you can turn and it'll give you a little serving of cereal. <gasps> this is possibly my favorite adult slash child purchase ever. My kids are gonna be so lucky. They're gonna have a cereal dispenser. Who of you can say you had a cereal dispenser? I did not have a cereal dispenser and I'm so jealous of my own children because they will have one. I'm going to get some cereal. This is the best day of my life. Oh my gosh. <gasps> and the whole packet fits. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. This might just be my favorite purchase ever. Welcome to the Hotel of Jazz. Have a bowl of cereal. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I'm just so happy with you. I'm just in love. I'm so happy. This one, I have been waiting to try for a while. This is a potato peeler. I did not know until just now that this thing is electric. I thought it was a whizzy thing. It's not. It's actually electric. It's also called a Rotato Express. Kind of like potato, but Rotato. It's the little things that amuse me. What's in here? <gasps> you can plug it in, you don't need batteries. That makes me very, very, very happy. Okay, so this is the device. I'm getting very excited about this. So it looks like I'm gonna push whatever I want cut onto here, and I'm gonna probably put this into the top of it. And then this little blade is gonna, ooh, potato. Potato, can I move you? Oh, oh, okay, okay, yeah, you go up there. Lower the upper food holder so that it grasps the food and holds it securely. They've left a little warning for me. It says, do not grab the cutter blade. It is razor sharp. I already cut myself this morning filming another video, so I needed that warning. So this is what the thing looks like. As you can see, I have shoved it onto this little thing, this bit is holding in the top, and then this is the blade. Well, I'm gonna plug it in and we're gonna click go and see what happens. Oh gosh, oh it started. <gasps> oh boy. Genius, absolutely genius. <laughs> Look at this, ginormous potato skin peel. You could skip with this. Can you see this? It looks amazing. Look at my perfectly peeled potato. I'm gonna go ahead and test it on another item because the potato clearly worked, but I feel like we should try it on a lemon. Ready? Now I used a lemon because it said you could peel a lemon, but as this was peeling, I realized when do you peel a lemon? I've either juiced a lemon, sliced a lemon, or like grated the outside of the lemon for lemon zest. When would you peel a lemon? This item I am so excited about. I've seen a couple of TikToks where it works and then a couple where it just doesn't. And basically it is this little watermelon blade runner slicer chunk thing. So I have a lovely big watermelon here. We're gonna slice it in half it looks like from this little diagram and then run this thing along. Whoop! That wasn't bad. So our watermelon looks like this. Oh boy, how does this slice any, what? They're not even blades. How is that okay? I mean, sure. What? <laughs> okay, 
So this is what it looks like, it's like a little windmill and these basically go along the watermelon and slice it. But I really thought these were going to be blades, they're just plastic. I know that watermelon isn't that tough but is this really going to work? I guess. Oh, in my face! I had very little hopes for this. That is genius. Wow. Wow! Mmm! Ah! Uh, should have cleaned this first. Mm -mm -mm. I really, really didn't think this would work that well. Yes, I'm blown away. I'm amazed. Yes, well done to this product. On this side of the item, there's like little measuring, so I'm gonna try and go up to around the two line, um, around here, and measure that up, and then just push it through and out comes chunks of watermelon. Oops, <gasps> just genius. This may be one of my favorite kitchen toys. I'm gonna call it a toy because it feels like I'm playing with a toy. Gets the biggest thumbs up. I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, let me know in the comments. I'm gonna spend the rest of the afternoon eating my watermelon. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Love you, bye.